Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And um, I remember uh, recently, about a month or two ago, having a conversation with a very perceptive young lady. And we were discussing, actually, we were discussing a messianic lineage, but in our discussion, uh, it, what popped up was the biblical prohibition uh, against uh, marrying, uh, intermarrying with an Ammonite or a Moabite. And I'm going to set aside the whole thing about Ruth, who was a Moabite, who was in the lineage of the Messiah. That's, I may mention that at the end, but the point is this. The discussion is why this eternal decree that you can't marry an Edomite. You can't marry an Edomite, uh, an Ammonite. What did they do that was so terrible? Well, two things. One thing is when the Jewish people, when the Bene Israel, the children of Israel, were passing by, they didn't offer us any food or water. They didn't even offer to sell us any food uh, or water. The women did, but the men didn't. They, they stopped it. They said, don't do this. And, of course, they hired Bilam, the Gentile prophet, to curse the Jewish people. And it was at this point uh, that the very perceptive lady, as she often does, arches her eyebrow and says, as she often does, seriously, they didn't give us food, and that was the big, horrible thing. Okay, the Bilam cursing, I get it, but they didn't give us food. That was terrible. The Egyptians did so much worse to us. We're not forbidden from marrying Egyptians. As a matter of fact, there's a mitzvah, there's a, a Torah mitzvah saying we are not supposed to hate Egyptians. It's a commandment not to hate Egyptians. You don't hate Egyptians? Mazel tov, you're doing a commandment. Um, what about uh, Nebuchadnezzar? You know, the, the Babylonians. Are we forbidden from marrying Iraqis? No. Uh, Titus destroys the, the temple. Are we forbid, forbidden from marrying Romans? No. Um, the um, Achashverosh, Purim, the Persians tried to kill us. Are we forbidden from marrying Persians? No. Hanukkah, the Syrian Greeks. Are we forbidden from marrying Syrians or Greeks? No. But Moabites, Ammonites, they are off the engagement list. Forever. Why? Well, um, as I said, the, the food and the, uh, the curse, but that did not satisfy the very perceptive young lady because she kept on this point. Yeah, it was not nice. Yes, it was means, but so many other people did things that were so much worse. I said, the difference between all the other people who tried to kill us, all the people who tried to wipe us out, and these two groups, Ammon and uh, Moab, the difference is this. They are both descendant from the children of Lot, the relative of Abraham. Avram saved Lot from in the, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. And these children who came of him, Moab and Ammon, they should have remembered. They should have been grateful. There should have been some sort of uh, tenderness of feeling. Oh, the children of Israel, these people came from the grandson of Avram who, who, who saved our, our parents. Our family. We're here because of them. We should have died with our great, 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 great grandfather in Southern Gadamar. No, they didn't. And it was because of this ungratefulness, because of this lack of appreciation, that cold heartedness that um, the, uh, the Ammonite men and the um, Moabite men are forbidden. Moabite women, Ruth is the best example. A Moabite woman is not forbidden. 
And that's why Ruth appears in the Messianic lineage. Um, and however the uh, gossipers and the spreaders of Lush and Hora, if Ruth was alive today, believe me, the Anthas would never stop talking. But it's misunderstood because in English, we don't have masculine and feminine for a lot of words. It, uh, when it says, uh, don't marry a Moabi, a Moavi, that is only male. It doesn't say, don't marry a Moavia, which is Ruth, a female Moabite. So the English, uh, it loses sometimes in the translation. But this is why we learn. This is why we study, is to bring out all these uh, different things. But lack of gratitude, lack of appreciation for things even done to your great-grandfather's great-grandfather. It shows um, a refinement of feeling, a refinement of character. And this was absent in uh, the Ammonites and the uh, Moabites. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next uh, time, on behalf of the Amuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.